Hello guys, welcome back to another Blu-ray hunting video. Today is a very special Blu-ray hunting video because I did Blu-ray hunting, but I did Blu-ray hunting in a different country. So, let's go. Yes, so I have been on a trip recently to Holland and um, I went to the city of Eindhoven to meet a friend that I've basically been chatting to online and stuff over the last couple of years. Um, I met him through when I was doing an app called Kernel and um, we've just stayed in contact and been friends ever since. Um, but obviously I went over there just to like hang out and see him and, and go and see the city and stuff and I went Blu-ray hunting while I was there. Um, so I filmed some footage when I was out there. This is Today I'm filming this on Monday which is the day it's going up um, and um, yeah basically when did I have come back I think I was there Thursday to Saturday so I've only been home a day or two haven't been feeling too well I still feel a little bit ill now um, but you know trying to film this video for you guys just to get it up loaded I think it was just the travel you know it's just made me feel a bit under the weather and a bit you know down in the dump so yeah but anyways then let's get into some of the footage that we filmed um firstly heading into um some stores i went to two stores when i was there one store was cex uh, which was crazy that it was exactly the same as well as a store called mini market which was basically like a bit of a curry's type of store but they sold you know media there but yeah let's go and see what we can find in those stores here we go then into a new place this is media market look how big this place is it's basically like a curry's apparently but also sells media um i guess the clue is in the name but there's the logo many times um <laughs> yes media market let's go in and take a look what we can find in here this is going to be all the new titles all the brand new stuff obviously not the the traded in stuff so very good selection they were actually moving stuff around when we was there um so it was a little bit higgledy piggledy but you know we'll we'll get, get into it so first thing i was seeing was some um of the 007 blu-ray steelbooks that have just recently come out this is the living daylights um yep yeah, this is that one there i think they're 19.99 euros each um they've also got black panther wakanda forever this is the blu-ray version um but i think this is a zavi exclusive in the uk uh, not too sure, but yeah, there is the steel book there for Wakanda Forever. Uh, Ex Machina again, another steel book, nineteen ninety nine, a great film. Um, I think this needs a four K release if it hasn't already. It definitely needs a four K release. Um, I haven't watched this in a long, long time, but they had that steel book there for nineteen ninety nine. Um, the world is not enough again, another one of those Bond steel books. Um, again, they had a lot there. I think they had, I think a film like six in total. So we'll get into them. There's the world is not enough. Um, some cool DC slip which are really cool like kind of similar to what we have in the uk with the avengers and marvels ones um but yeah something new something that i've never really seen before um also two more there you can see there the man with the golden gun as well as moonraker two steel books both 1999 euros each um we also get then another one of those dc slip covers this is for suicide squad the, the not good one <laughs> i guess um Sticking with DC, we've got a new release here, Black Adam, which has come out quite recently. Uh, $37.99 for this steelbook, though, in Euros. Um, very, very cool-looking steelbook, though. Uh, we've got a Ready Player One steelbook here, which is a really cool-looking um, Japanese uh, writing on the front. I'm not a big lover of this movie. Like, I like it, but not enough to have a steelbook. Um, but, yeah, €29.99 Euros for this. Uh, we've got a double pack here for Creed and Creed 2. Uh, €44.99 for this. Uh, obviously, both movies included. Uh, this is actually, I think this is available in the UK, this version. So, yeah, it is available. Chernobyl, uh, they've got the TV series this year as well. You can see $34.99 in a nice little slip box thingy. Um, yeah, looks pretty cool. They also have some things on sale. Um, so they have like two for 10 offers on here. These are all two for 10. Uh, and some of the Blu-rays that are available in that. Uh, Imitation Game there, Sicario, Gremlins. And they also have two for 15. So Candyman, Mrs. Doubtfire, Game Night, Ready Player One, Halloween Kills, and Skyfall. Uh, quite a big selection. I've also managed to find a 40th anniversary set um, for E.T. as well. Uh, this is a nice looking set. 44 99 euros though. Uh, but you do get a nice orange steelbook in inside uh yeah then also finally seeing a halloween trilogy of halloween halloween kills as well as halloween ends all three movies i think that is all three um but really they should have put the original halloween in it as well because i think that is linked at the very beginning let's head over to cex though as you can see this just looks like i'm in Pretend. like it just looks exactly the same um the shelves exactly the same crazy it's mad the only thing that is different though is the slimmed cases as you can see here they're all slimmed but they're all i actually quite like them not gonna lie like if that was my thing like i would be 
thing. But whoa, 18 euros for a Blu-ray. What? Okay, pricing's gonna be a problem. Uh Black Panther there. This is a 4K release here, 15 euros. Um, yeah, that's mm, quite steep. I think that's like six quid back home, eight quid maybe. Uh 22 euros for uh Captain Marvel. So that's about 19, 20 pounds. That's yeah, that's pricey for a used copy um gatsby in 3d 18 euros like i'm not sure if this is rare but like a blu-ray 3d anything blu-ray really you don't really see them that price um we've got a steelbook here then 12 euros for scarface now this is on the other end like i feel like this would be more expensive back home <laughs> i'm not sure um but yeah 12 euros for scarface from 1983 um just like a common title yeah monster house two euros makes sense that makes sense to me um if that was like 10 euros that would have been a problem um uh, zodiac great film starring robert downey jr six euros uh for that um yeah i can see that not too bad pretty pretty decent price but it's also the director's cut as well uh from 2007 we get another steelbook here for 12 euros this is terminator genesis really nice condition um really well kept as well um but yeah another good price really in my opinion for that um we also get then this uh stone uh steelbook it does start robert de niro though and uh miller jovic um yeah Looks cool. Uh, Game of Thrones Season 5. Uh, we do get uh, the Dolby Atmos track on this one as well. Um, on this standard Blu-ray. And this is €10. Euros. Pretty good price for that. Um, and then we also get another Steelbook here. €10 Euros for Ghostbusters. Um, and it has been a little bit damaged, as you can see there on the top left. Um, Creed, though, I'm seeing for €15. Euros. And this is one that I thought, you know, is different in price. But it's £10 in the UK. Um, I feel like that price has gone up recently because of the new film. But, yeah. Okay, then. So, here we go. Back. Um, that was crazy. Like, the fact that, you know, some of the stores, like CEX, is exactly the same. Like, it has exactly the same shelving unit, stickers, everything. It's just crazy. But what did we get in regards to pickups? Well, I did pick up two items um, that I have here. And, yeah, pretty pleased with them, to be honest with you. Because the, one of them, you can only get a Blu-ray of it in Europe. You can't get a Blu-ray in the UK of this film. In the UK, this film is only available on DVD. And I actually have it on DVD. And this film is Jobs. Um, this is the uh, Steve Jobs movie starring Ashton Kutcher there, as you can see. I have this on DVD. I've tried to rewatch this, I think, a couple of months ago to do a revisited on it. And it was awful on my TV. Um, you know, watching a DVD 480p on a 4K screen is just really bad. I can't watch DVDs. I don't understand why they sell DVDs anymore. I, I just don't understand. So, of course, I picked up the Blu-ray of Jobs. Um, so here it is. Uh, you can see there with the sticker. Three euros in total. I think it converted to something like two pound ten pence. So not bad at all. Um, the disc as well has artwork. Actually, I need to put this in there. I didn't realize. So the disc as well does have artwork in there. As you can see, really happy with that. Um, of course, you know the the cover and stuff um, does have you know all the back. It does have um, Dutch writing and stuff, which is to be expected. I was in Holland. But, yeah, I'm really pleased to have picked something up. Firstly, I wanted to get something, obviously, as, like, a pseudo souvenir to be, like, that's where I got when I was away. But also, something that I actually really needed and wanted, because this DVD copy is pretty bad. Um, yeah. Uh, great film, though, if you haven't seen this Jobs uh, film. There's also another one with Mike Fassbender, which is directed by Danny Boyle. Um, but this one is, is a good one. It stars Josh Gad as well in this movie. Um, obviously Ashton Kutcher, um, there's a lot of big actors in this film from, from what I remember. Um, yeah, J.K. Simmons, Dermot Mulroney, uh, Josh Gad, Lucas Haas, J.K. Simmons, Leslie Ann Warren, Ron L. Dard and Anna O'Reilly, John Gotts and along, alongside James Woods and Matthew uh, Modine. Modine. Yeah, great film. Um, really, really want to get, I'm going to be visiting this definitely in the coming days. Um, it does have on here um, English language as well as uh, subtitles, but you can, they're optional, so you can turn the Dutch subtitles on or off. So, uh, yeah, really, really good. So this is my first pickup then from uh, Holland, and that was uh, Jobs. Really pleased. Of course, as well, the, the covers, the cases were all slim cases, as we did see in the store. Um, so, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's just one of those things. I can, I could put in a big case if I wanted to, but I'm probably not going to. It's just, a, just one of those things. And the funny thing is, as well, they do have the stickers, the same ones there, as well as the same ones there. And they're in exactly the same place. It's actually really funny uh, going somewhere and it's being really familiar, but then really different at the same time. I think one of the biggest takeaways for me with going to CEX was some of the prices. Um, you know, some of the 
prices there were just astronomical for like what we'd have at home. I think Creed was the one that I, I, I flagged out as one that I knew the price was really cheap because I'd seen it recently here. Um, but there it was just 15 euros or whatever it was. So yeah, there was some pricing thing. I think Don't Worry Darling was 30 euros. And who knows what that's down to, um, you know, resale market. Um, there could be more lucrative than it is here at the end of the day. Um, yeah, so there was something I noticed there that was different as well. So but yeah, really cool and really, really good. Of course, I was getting one movie in one thing, so I wanted to get something somewhere else. And this was in a place called Media Market, I think. Mini Market, Media Market, Media Market we're going with. Um, so I wanted to get something there and I got a brand new pickup. Um, I definitely wanted, I've wanted this thing for a while. Um, and I've always seen in the UK on Amazon, it's never really been on the UK Amazon. It's just been on Amazon Italy or it's just been on like, you know, uh, Germany and stuff like that. And when I saw this there in person, I was pretty shocked to be honest with you because I've never seen it in person, of course, because like I said, the UK doesn't have it. So again, another reason to get something um, that I wanted. It was really cool in the media marketplace to see all like the steelbooks on the shelf. Like we don't get that here because most of our steelbooks go through Zavi, so they're all online. So if you don't, you just don't buy them. Um, there is a deal that's changed now though for Marvel. So all the Marvel steelbooks now are going to go through HMV, I believe. So that's going to be interesting if they're going to be in the store, but probably not it's at the same time because people buy them and they sell out fast. Um, but anyways, uh, Sure Noble was what I bought. Um, as you can see here, I got it for €34.99. Euros so this was about £29.30. Pounds. Um, it's a five-part mini-series of Sure Noble, of course. And like I said, in the UK, we only get this in the Blu-ray version, not 4K. Um, but you can buy this on like Amazon Italy and stuff like that. The price is more or less the same as if I ordered it on Amazon. But when I looked at the reviews, um, they didn't have like, um, like they just had the case, like on the picture. So there was no pictures of like this box. So I was like, I'm going to get this because this box, you know, it's uh, something I want. So that's what I got. So I'm going to open it because um, obviously I can't return it. Um, even if I wanted to. I'm going to watch this though um, really soon because this is something I still have never seen. And um, yeah. I've heard great things um, and I really want to expand some of like, my TV stuff. Uh, I don't want to get too much TV stuff, but things I know I'm going to like, like this one is something I know I'm definitely going to like. Um, but as I say, I wanted this box um, mainly because, yeah, it's just a nice looking cover there. So we've got Chernobyl on the front and then we've got Jared Harris on the back there and some characters. Of course, we've got writing in Dutch. Um, I think there's Dutch and German on this. I think there's two. Um, yeah. So it says on here as well, the subtitles, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, English subtitles too. The language itself is in English. Unfortunately on this though, there is only a Dolby audio track. That's the weird thing about this, um, because Dolby Atmos is on the Sky version, um, uh, but Dolby Vision isn't. But then Dolby Vision's on this version, but Dolby Atmos isn't so there's no way to get both of them at the same time from what i looked at online i decided to get this the physical copy my i couldn't have dolby atmos if i tried downstairs my sky is hardwired in and i'm not moving all my speakers and that thing up. i can't do it basically so uh we have we had to choose and i just would rather have it in physical form anyways and the case itself though i think is actually a big case it's not a small one uh, but that makes sense because there is going to be more discs so we get um, disc one, uh, which is episodes one to three plus bonus. We also get then uh, discs, what's that one? Uh, episode four and five, and then the final episodes there. Oh no, actually, you're right there. Ah, so this is the DVD and Blu uh, sorry, Blu ray and 4K. So the f first ones are the what, episodes one, two, uh, three, four, and five, and then these are Blu rays. So there's no differentiation between color, like they're not different discs, they're just. The same discs, I'll be careful when I'm watching that, <laughs> making sure I watch the right ones. Um, but yeah, they're the same discs, but yeah. So yeah, really pleased to pick up Chernobyl. Uh, like I say, something I definitely wanted to, to have in my collection at some point. Um, and, and it means more when you get something that, you know, it's... Um, it's exclusive like you can't get this in hmv and thing with the uh, with jobs as well two pickups that uh, are things i really really wanted and also things that i couldn't get here so just makes sense um i gotta say though it was really cool going blu-ray hunting in a different country kind of gave me loads of ideas for like you know potential series it's like <laughs> once a month or something i just jet off to a random country and we just go blu-ray hunting and then just come home um yes i would do that um <laughs> um i mean i went to holland and went to the cinema i actually went to see mario there as well so um, um, but that review will be coming out soon. Um, yeah, I, I 
I will just travel places and just do random things. That's just me as a person. Um, but anyways, I had a real fun time. Thank you so much to my friend Bram. Uh, he for help for showing me around and you know giving me a good time there. He really showed it, showed me around and we did some really good, cool things. I actually did film a vlog when I was there. I was hoping to have that vlog up the same day as this, but I'm finding it hard. Like I said, I'm finding it a bit ill recently. So I will get that vlog up in the next couple of days, but I'll put a link to it on the community page on this channel. Um, the That is going to be uploaded on my um, James Ash vlogs channel. So if you are interested in like my life where I just film normal stuff without movie related stuff, then you can go and follow my vlog channel over there. It'd be cool if you could. But yeah, there it is. Blu-ray hunting done in a different country. Really pleased with the pickups as I say. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Of course, next week's Blu-ray hunt. We are getting into like you know Blu-ray hunts all the time. Um so yeah, stay tuned for that. Hope you're on a good bank holiday Monday and I hope this has made your day a little bit better. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.